persecution in English lands and with the intention of founding a colony based on its own biblical ideals. A group of Puritans, known as the Pilgrims, crossed the Atlantic in a ship called the Mayflower and settled in Plymouth, Massachusetts on December 11, 1620. After the fierce harsh winter was established, the dying lived with all resource of any kind in the midst of a harsh and snowy winter. More than a half of the pilgrims died, and the survivors only managed to do so due to the invaluable help of the Wampanoag Indians, who despite from being attacked by previous settlers, they helped the pilgrims with food and shelters, taking care of them all winter. In this way, all the pilgrims could survive until the spring. They did not lack anything thanks to the help of the Wampanoag Indians. When the good weather arrived, the Indians sent the colonies to harvest corn, also they had to wait to harvest it in October. Meanwhile, they also hunted wild birds or turkeys to survive. In the late autumn, the pilgrims invited the Indians to dinner to thank them for their help. That moment full of meaning and gratitude. It's the one celebrated today as Thanksgiving Day. Thanksgiving Day was officially proclaimed by President Abraham Lincoln in 1863 to be celebrated on the last Thursday of November. In 1941, Thanksgiving Day was officially declared by the United States Congress as a public holiday to celebrate on the 4th Thursday of November. All these remind you that what we have in this country as immigrants and the opportunity it has to pervade you. We owe in the part of the great sacrifice and effort of a group of pilgrims who decide to fight for their freedom of worship and religion. And how can we forget the humanitarian and merciful gesture of the Wampanoag Indian? With this great example of harmony, we learn that people can feel grateful for what they have even if they are not rich for it. On Thanksgiving Day, we chart the table with celebration and gratitude to the Lord for His provisions.